The rate at which sugar dissolves in water increases with stirring. That is true. You might know this from experience if you've had tea or anything where you you know maybe stir sugar into your water. Uh, you stir it and it dissolves quicker. You might have also noticed this in laboratory. So if you did chem labs and you're putting some kind of solute into water, you stir it, it dissolves quicker, right? So that's just a brute fact, it's true. Stirring exposes the surface of a solute crystal to a less concentrated layer of solution. That is true, and we can think of it like this. So imagine you have a beaker, and in that beaker you have water, and you dump some kind of solute in the bottom of the beaker, right? So some sort of solid. <clears throat> now this is soluble, so it begins to dissolve in contact with the water. Now, only the layer in contact with the water actually starts dissolving, so what you get is, you can imagine, this is kind of pure water, and as you get closer to the solute, you get more and more solute because it's, you know, it's dissolving in. So you kind of have this layer building up here of uh, uh, solute-filled water. And what that means is, it doesn't stop the process of dissolution, but basically the process of dissolution is impeded in some sense because it's got to all spread out and um, get evenly distributed as, it's, as it dissolves. So basically it just slows down. If I stir, I kind of, you can imagine I kind of push away this layer, which allows a, a fresh new layer to be exposed to pretty much fresh water, which helps it dissolve and so on and so forth. So you can imagine that you're kind of moving away that layer of liquid and therefore allowing it to dissolve more quickly because it doesn't have to deal with the, high con the higher concentration of the solute closer to the surface of the crystal. So this is true, and as you might expect, this is indeed a correct explanation. This explains why stirring increases the rate of sugar dissolving.